What's up guys? Parker. Channel 84 is back on the air, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. I don't know. A room, in the I last think. episode, Somewhere on we the discovered ship. that Chris and Jessica were in the mountains of Europe on the trail of Velcro. They discovered the hideout somewhere in Finland. Reach HQ? And now they're on their way to search for Jill and Parker. And at present, it seems that Jill and Parker have been captured and have been split up. Evidenced by the fact that we can't open the door. But as the camera pans to the left, we have a pretty good clue. We need to pop the lid off of that electronic unit and rewire it so we can disable the lock. So we gotta search the room and see what we can find. In here is a dirty bathroom and a clue as to where the screwdriver might be. But there's nothing there. I have one more hunch, but I may regret it. Yeah. Sure enough, there it is. Now that we've got the screwdriver, let's head back out, grab the herb first. And let's pop the lock and get out of here. Jeez, another one of these things? Even though you've seen me evade already, that's a prompt as for what you gotta do. Come on, Uzi Uzi. Just a little further. Ole! Don't let anybody on TV these days. Now for danger averted, let's do this. For the Wii U, you would use the gamepad to work the rewiring. I'm sorry I don't have the picture up, but um, I haven't quite figured out how to get the um, gamepad screen to display. But enough about that. We've opened the lock. Let's get out of here. We're practically defenseless, but you can still grab your ammo and stuff. Oh look, another ruse. You can't touch this. Jill, you can't fight without a weapon. Just do your best to dodge. Okay, so coming through here, this is known as the public bathroom. You can get a quick herb right here in the corner, and as soon as you do, run back out and don't stop. No sense fighting when you can't defend yourself. And keep in mind, no matter how good your dodging abilities are, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to dodge. You know, all things considered, despite the ship's condition, it's not bad looking. We're not going to be able to get the keycard to open these safes for quite some time. So let's just keep going. Seeing as how we have no weapons, no equipment, no nothing, picking up whatever we can get our hands on is highly recommended. The extra bullets will come in handy. And what's this? This particular shotgun is called the Wyndham. The item we need to release it will be coming up in Episode 3. But for now, let's just grab our bullets and get the hell out of here. And don't worry about this sucker. He falls out of the chest way too slow. Alright folks, coming up, we're going to need to use some stealth in order to save our skin. In this room, that ooze is distracted by all the blood on the floor. So we're going to run around and push that chest out of the way of the door. One, two, three, I think I'm done. Nope, I need one more. One more. Ow! Those back ends from the users hurt a lot, so use the herb if you have to. I'm starting to get worried. Where's Parker now? Jill, are you okay? I'm fine, but the ship's crawling with B.O.W.s. Okay, we're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. We should be okay as long as we work together. I never thought I'd find myself saying this, Parker, but it's good to see you again. Wait, there are more creatures this way. So, did you bring you any presents? I found this, though. You think we can use it? The best present of all. Yeah, it just might do the trick. You may recall that I used them against the zombie wolves in the mountains. Against these Zeus's, they're also very effective. Not all enemies fall victim to the decoy, though. Major look. The weapons I found are just up ahead. Hurry. Okay, so Parker gave me three of them. But I think I only used two around here. 
If an enemy doesn't go for right away, it'll detonate on its own. Oh, another one of you? I think I'll just dodge. Ah, crap, you got me. Hit the left stick as fast as you can. Kick him off and run past him, Ken. That could have been a lot hairier. Right around here, we have the first of many custom parts. Not all custom parts are the same, and they don't always fit on the same weapon. Alright, there's our stuff. And a peculiar looking box as well. Let's go into a little more detail as to what this box is all about. This is a weapon depot box. You can store excess weapons here, like extra machine guns, shotguns, rifles, or whatever you get. And at the same time, any custom parts you pick up, you can fit to guns. Like right here, my, I only have my one pistol, and this custom part, damage one, which gives me a 10% increase in firepower. Good thing too, because if you remember my shooting from the last few episodes, I'm gonna need all the firepower I could get. Now what? Now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going and on. And being the overly curious person I am, I went to this room to see what I could find. Let's go. All I got me though was a stiff backhand from a news. This is the room I was stuck in. And nothing of remote value. By the way, what's the deal with that guy in the gas? All right, enough, enough chit chat. Let's get out of here. I guess I'm not the only one with bad aim. Well, I guess this part is stunned. I might as well finish this sucker off. But at the same time, I'm gonna need to find myself a herb really fast because I don't want to take too much more damage. This is gonna get a little on the trick side because I remember there's still a lot of oozes out here. But I still have that one grenade. Alright, with these guys taken care of, time to pull out the Genesis. If you remember the beach episode, 100% scan of corpses will give you a free herb. And so far, 46% off the three corpses, that's an excellent start. And there's something here in the clock. Just with a doctor order, no prescription necessary. This room, on the other hand, not too difficult to handle. Just go around the left side, and it's as simple as that. Peekaboo! Like I said before, these things can appear anywhere, and it gets annoying fast. Now we're up to 60%. All right, so we're gonna grab ourselves some more bullets. Nothing else here to scan with Genesis. So let's go back the way we came. If you recall from earlier in the episode, there was a padlock door. Now that we've got our gun back, we can shoot the lock off and continue on. At the same time, on the way back, we can contend with any nasty oozes that we couldn't before, like right here. That sucker that hit me with that forearm shot. Parker's keeping him at bay. Now it's my turn to get in on the fun. But it seems like despite having the damage part on, I'm still not killing him faster. Oh, look at that. In the blood, there's something else to find. Just as I thought. More bullets. It seems cliche that I'm only getting nothing but bullets, but at this point, no sense complaining. The more bullets you have, the better. I don't think I need to say what this is. Nope. More oozes. Time to be light on my feet. Smooth move. Ah shit, there's another one. Two in a row! All right, before we go, let's take care of the sucker. Okay, now that was good shooting. All right, so now we just gotta bypass the public bathroom, and we should be on our way out of here. Yikes! Not ready to deal with you yet. What you just saw was a pincer ooze. It's a further mutation of a normal ooze, 
except it has longer arms with barbs. If it hits you with a double claw swing, it's going to cause even more damage than a back after one of these suckers. Damn, my dodging's getting good. Alright, now the lock's taken care of. Let's go on. And even though it seems I've been passing over items, don't worry. In the next episode, we will be coming back through this way, and I can pick up whatever I missed. And believe me, there's a lot. This elevator gives the option to go to the bridge or to the lower cabins. So let's go to the lower cabins first and see if there's anything of use. I must have what they call the ESP. But just to be on the safe side, let's check the Genesis. We got something. Now we don't. And we have something again. Pretty cool feature about the Genesis. You can find hidden items through doors and walls. And it's the best possible item we could hope for. Alright, back to the elevator. And now let's hit the bridge. You'd think being stuck in this elevator for quite some time, that Jill and Parker would make some small talk. But I guess with a difficult mission at hand, small talk is not the thing you want to be doing. Although, if I recall correctly, in other episodes of the game, when two people are stuck in an elevator together, there is some dialogue. I don't exactly remember which episode or which level, but I guess we'll see it when we see it. Alright, here we are. It's dark and gray. And apparently we're not alone. In here we got a bunch of lockers. So let's see if we can find something. Nothing on that one. I can definitely use that. Strike two. And we got ourselves our first bit of shotgun shells. Those will definitely come in handy later, especially once we get that shotgun released from the wall in that I'm one at cabin. The bridge. Before we finish the level, let's do a quick scan of the area. Yet another item uncovered. And let's see what else we can find. I see something in the distance. It's another handprint. Don't worry. Eventually, when we get further into the game, I'm going to focus more on getting actual items and stop worrying about those handprints. We can't change our course. We're completely adrift. This is recent. The perpetrator can't be far. Don't tell me that was the tugboat. Shit! We'll be stuck here! Uh, uh, Freeze! Drop the weapon! Drop yours, Parker. Who the hell are you? Ladies and gentlemen, this brings Episode 2, Double Mystery, to its conclusion. Looks like we got ourselves a bit of a situation. This red-haired fellow who pulled the gun seems to be somebody from Parker's past. How is he involved in Parker's life? We'll find out in the next episode. This is Jeremy Prouty from Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.